Hey guys, welcome back to Devon Rule 16. I am your host Devon, and today we're back for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Stray for the PC. Today we're running this on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the Intel HD4600 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode, and as you can see, I have destroyed everything to be able to play this damn game. It's not going to go great. Either way, I don't think Stray is playable on integrated this slow end. The 620 was something, I don't think the 4600 is going to cut it, bro. I have disabled everything to get this game running right now, and as you can see, we're still having quite a lot of issues with the game. It looks incredibly pixelated, GPU is completely stressed out, and we're going to see what's going to happen. I can't see anything. I will leave a link for the config file that I've done to get the game to even run like this on the 4600, but guys. Stray ain't looking great for this, dude. It's not looking bueno. It's not looking bueno at all. Now imagine this is this area here is more is a, is really not not uh, CPU heavy at all. So imagine what'll happen when it, when the cutscene plays after this section. Like my computer is gonna die. <laughs> the sixty four six hundred is about to be rest in peace, rest in linguini, boy. It's about to die. But it'll be a street right up until that point. I'm not exactly sure what is pushing this so hard after this. I mean, resolution isn't it. Definitely not resolution. It has to be something else that's pushing this. But as you can see, everything is on low. I'm running at 960 by 540. 20% of that. And we're barely hovering 20 FPS. Which seems kind of insane when you think about it. But for those guys that I'm it's so e happy that we were able to fix a low level fatal error fix for you. Some of you guys that were struggling with this, it's here guys. It's here. It runs. It runs now. We weren't able to play it before and now well, maybe that was for a reason. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't be able to play it regardless. I mean this looks like a nightmare. Yep, look at that. Because I had the table, everything, I bet the the sun effects are gonna be ridiculous. Because I had to I had to disable everything. Yeah. This is gonna be rough. But we'll simply change back the resolution in a second. It'll probably boost give me back everything I need. I just wanted to see how it would run if I really, you know, disabled a few things. Obviously, though, this is not how you should be trying to play the game. Clearly. Cl clearly. Look at this. 12 FPS. Like, this is not playable on the 4600, regardless of what you do. Like, imagine th the things you'd have to do to get this playable. I don't think it is playable regardless, actually. I don't think you can do anything. I've already done too much. Just because I didn't want to show it as it was. At 50% to 720p was not enough. Simply was not enough. And as we can see, there's good reason for that. This crap looks like a nightmare. It's like that graphics that they got with the, the RX 570. I just delete the config file and everything will be fine. Hey, yo, I can't see anything, bro. What? What is this? What is this? I can't see anything. So that tells you all you really need to know. That even with that, it does nothing. I'll see you guys next time. This has been... Actually, you know what? For those of you who are curious enough, I'm sure some of you are. I don't actually, I don't ever actually do this, but for those of you who are looking for the config file where to put it, uh, just follow these steps right here, real quick. And here it is. This is where the configs are and everything for the game. Now watch this. Delete. 
So now that we don't have that, we're going to boot back straight one more time and we'll finish the video like that. Just to let you guys see, I wanted to get to the other part down below. And if you guys are curious about how I got the PS4 mod, I've already shown that how to do that. You'll simply just watch that video to how to get PS4 prompts. I wish it lowered on the res before I try to do the audio. It's crazy how that does nothing. I suppose it lets you know up front, man, like this ain't going to be a fun experience. I think it lets it lets you know right off the bat. It lets you know how dare you think this is gonna be fun. This is gonna you're gonna suffer, and they ain't wrong. Crap's hard, man. I don't actually ever do that. I probably should do that in my videos going forward. Where if I'm doing config, I actually show you guys the config. But yeah, as you can see, without the config, when we just do it normal like this, we were getting 13, 14, 15 FPS. But here we're getting six. So there was definitely a lot more to it than that and don't worry in the config file this time around I won't let you, I won't make it so that it's blurry or anything like that but trust me it's still going to look bad but yeah as you can see 8 FPS this is how much you're getting with stray on the 4600 and before with, with the config file it ain't doing much better I'm still going to meow though I'm still gonna pimp. Sing me that meow song. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. That was quite fascinating. Pain wise, I'll see you guys again. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, there's not nothing else we can really do to get the game running on any other way.